The Great Lakes are the largest freshwater system on the face of this planet. 35 million people rely on them every day for drinking water. I think when you realize that there's such big threats to something that's so important to your everyday life and the livelihoods of so many people in this region, that of course you'd want to act. And that's exactly what we did. Our next story tonight is about two women who are on a mission to help sustain the Great Lakes. With talk about defunding the Great Lakes in Washington, the ecologist wanted to highlight the progress of restoring the lake since the 1960s and 70s. We can't afford to backtrack from how far we've come. Younger people aren't aware of how nasty it was before the Clean Water Act. No matter what our background is, no matter who we vote for, every one of us needs clean water to survive. The objective of our project was to walk 343 miles from Lake Michigan and Milwaukee all the way up to Lake Superior and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Anyone is welcome to join us for the first mile. We have 300 plus miles to go after that, but you guys can do the first mile with us. Here we go. The way we communicate science, I think, has to change. The way documentaries reach people, the way art reaches people from all walks of life is so effective. Oh, science can't have emotion tied to it. Well, it can, and that's how you get people to care. We just need to be smarter about how we're managing those sensitive lands around the lakes, because what happens on the land ends up in the lakes. We believe that every culture has a water story. This is life. That's no joke. That's real, because each of us is made up of this water. Without that water, we wouldn't be here. If we don't generally understand what's going on with our water, we're not going to stand up and fight for it when it's under threat. To say that you're going to either abolish the EPA or you're going to take away the, the GLRI funds, you're going to pay for it now or you're going to pay for it later. Throwing in the towel on, on the ongoing restoration is foolish. We just can't afford to backslide. I think the stereotype that if you invest in the environment, you'll hurt the economy, is wrong. We have seen it's wrong, right? We want clean lakes, we want clean oceans, we want a clean environment. This is an important issue to us. You know, there is a lot of positive things to highlight, but there's also, there's so much in terms of how far we have yet to go, we needed to bring attention to. We've done a fantastic job in cleaning up the Great Lakes and restoring our freshwater resources since the Clean Water Act, since the 70s and the EPA and the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, but there's still a lot of issues that the Great Lakes face today. What you do here is not unimportant. This is serious business. This is the business of life.